I had an idea about turning this place into a, a domain, a hallowed domain of words and images. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but um, I did have a text that I wanted to see on the walls. I'm imagining that this could be the impact of words and the consequences of words and how words impact your psyche. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I imagine it's gonna be um, sort of lovely to see all these multicolored letters. And if you walk around and try and piece the letters to the words and the words to the phrases, you've got these extraordinary images, most of which are bleak, but they're, they're challenging, provocative images, and um, it's, it, it's, a, it's a dialogue, it's a conversation. It's certainly a, um, a tool for contemplation. There, there'll be a lot to consider to the person who comes in and actually takes the time and, and, and tries to follow this text and, and see what it actually says. In the end, you could, uh, you could, when you get to the finish line, you might find that you know less than when you started out, but in the meantime, you will have traveled through some, some um, really difficult um, uh, topography, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Tomorrow, I've got you know, half a dozen artists that I've never met any of them coming here. I'm gonna give them each a brush and a color and a letter. And we're gonna have a little happening. You know, we're just gonna sort of paint this thing onto the wall and see how that goes. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like working people like brushes. What I was thinking about when I started imagining what I could do here to make this interesting is what, what words do to us, because oftentimes someone says something to you or you read something and it gets caught in your head and you wonder why you're like, you know, sick for the whole day or, or, or elated, whatever it is. It's just the power of words. So this is about the power of words. And then I picked some paintings I hadn't seen since 2008 when I painted them and I thought, you know, these paintings in a way kind of mirror what words uh, how words affect your psyche, you know. You know, someone says something and you go, <clears throat> and I thought these paintings might be interesting in, con in concert with the words, so that's it. As Saul LeWitt said to me when I worked on one of his wall pieces, don't be creative. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is more like a, a, a contemplative exercise, you know? Okay. So you don't have to be uptight about this. Just let you let yourself enjoy that that you're painting something that doesn't involve thinking. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's good. We're gone now. All right. I'm trying to offer an opportunity for people to paint without thinking. Oftentimes, they don't know how to do that. A lot of people are hung up, uh, or, or at least preoccupied with thought. So I'm just trying to drive the point home that there's no thinking involved in this project. And when you paint without thinking, you can get somewhere. Cool. Yeah. Grab one, pick one you like. What I'll do now is I'll, I'll in terms of painting is I'll see the spaces and I'll try to bridge things together. Like it is a space here. And there's these tentative, really tentative letters. I'm just gonna fill it. I'm going outside the line, Steve. It's certainly not hard to be a victim to words. When people use words, words are weapons. 
No, you, you know, how do we use words? We use words to manipulate words. And to entertain. And to communicate. Have I seen any words? There's one right here. Fear. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I can see some as I'm coming up to them, but... I'm, I'm not thinking too much about it. Good. I'm seeing certain words. It's kind of a delight to stand back and see a few, but I really love how they coalesce, how they just are melting into each other. I'm definitely discovering words. Like what words? Thing is there, um, happens. On some level, it takes a room and it turns it into a kind of a meditation on letters, on colored letters. And even if you don't know what it says, it'll have a, it'll have a sound, it'll have a kind of a vib vibration that will work on your psyche. Because colors and lines will do that. beyond what I expected. It's, I guess it's gonna be what people make out of it. And so, you know, everybody comes to this thing, brings back something for themselves. There's something, there's some food here. Offhand, it looks like just undiluted positive energy. This trumps the text. Wherever it takes you, wherever this text takes you, this says more, and it's just, it's goodness and, and generosity. It's the opposite of what the text is. In a place where nothing happens, in a place where nothing matters, beauty has many takers. Streams of atoms playing God blur distinction, silencing the seductive and heroic. Technological slaves haunted by rage bias, arcane rules and the mediocrity of fear slog through the fizz and burn of waste deep decay and detached guttural pleasures. Where the honest pursuit of substance and the physics of what if turbocharge the hopes of booze hounds, cocktail geeks, and self-serving genetic variants on alco speed, marooned in time, chemically unraveling and grinding away at the bottom of limbo in a mass of cant, where swaying grass-skirted maidens nibbling at the margins of trembling insubstantiality and the chemistry of chance spontaneously collude and struggle with nameless thoughts where the idleness of want takes a victory lap and the simplicity of negative entropy tears at the filigree of structure like kangaroos hopping backward. Disillusioned psychophants and troubled minds unrestricted by reality living in the glare of their own making turn romance into burlesque, argue the merits of genocide with ghosts, while killing babies to make the world safe for children. Any bots with robodynamics infected with malicious software play ukuleles on their backs, glimpsing the infinite and sharing dried prunes with the ants. Where frightening encounters with suffering creatures and valueless bestowed courtesies reduce fragrant beings like Renaissance saints overwhelmed by the pretense of meaning and numbed by swarms of good intentions, leavening the mind-bending in a zero-sum game of immunized fluorescence. A place where fate is bound and destiny circles the interrogation of vision, the pleasure of words, the evolutionary effect of competition, the paradox of sexual attraction, zoos of pulsars, spikes of heat, nodules of trapped energy and self-absorbed bliss, the simple truths even God can't deliver, and the determination of quiet men, rogues of solitude, uncorked 
and oscillating, navigating the gravity of relevance and pockets of hope and chance. Jazz devils cursed with awareness, paralyzed by sublime thoughts, juggling wet moons. Cavemen whirling in a primal ocean, peddling radiance, mirroring the hieroglyphics of ecstasy while drawing here near, acknowledging how little we know, how much we are, and the thunderous roar of uncompromising love.